Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing some layering combos with you guys. So we have a lot of layering combos today. Some of them I think I have done in the past and shared them, but I want to share them on here just in case. And a lot of them are new combos that I've really, really been enjoying. So if you're new here and you love all things girly, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss my future uploads. And with that said, let's jump right into today's video. So these combos that I have today are a mix of mainly the combos that I wore during January, but I also have a few combos from when I went to Miami for the holidays and I took a few things with me. Let's start off with those first. So before going to Miami, I ordered this and received it right before leaving. So I packed it up in my suitcase and this is Lovely Dreamer from Bath & Body Works. This, if it's still available on the website, this is such a good one. It's one of my favorite, favorite scents that I have gotten recently from Bath & Body Works because I haven't been too impressed with a lot of the releases, but this was such a winner for me. So first off, the packaging is super duper pretty has like very dreamy packaging to match with the name like little clouds i think it is and the notes for this one are fluffy musk clean woods white iris and fresh bergamot this fragrance mist it kind of puts me in the space of clean reserve skin Glossier you but just not as peppery just like one of those scents where you hug someone and you smell this and it's just like The person just smells so good inviting comfy cozy type of scent and I Layered it with one of my favorite fragrances, which is in the same kind of category. This is Juliet has a gun not a perfume these together match made in heaven I shared it on my Instagram, so if you don't want to wait until the monthly layering combo videos, I like to share layering combos on my TikTok and Instagram, so I'm going to leave the info on the screen if you're interested. I just kind of share the packaging with you, kind of let you know a quick description of them. So this combo right here was amazing. Now, Lovely Dreamer, I wore it with everything that I wore in Miami because this is pretty much the body care that I took with me. So I layered it with Donna Born in Roma Pink. I layered it with Ellis Brooklyn Apple Love. I layered it with everything and it just adds like this cozy skin like musk scent to any fragrance so if this is still available at bath and body works it is such a good one another layering combo that was so unexpected because i was just not happy with the longevity of this fragrance right here which is ellis brooklyn apple love i ended up getting a full-size bottle because of my trip to Miami because i took my travel size with me and i pretty much finished it all up i wore this sweater one day we baptized my youngest daughter and then right after we did the baptism we took all of the kids to an arcade i did splash on valentino donna born in roma pink so i wore this because i already had this for the baptism so i started off with this for the baptism with a dress that i had on smells very like perfect for that type of occasion because you smell good but it's not too sexy or anything like that it just smells really good sophisticated type of smell and then when i went to go to the arcade since we were in a rush i just changed really quickly into some jeans and a hoodie and i sprayed a little bit more of this one on my hoodie and then i went in with my travel size of apple love which is like i don't even know what made me think of doing that but i was kind of rushing and you know when you're rushing you kind of just like pick up whatever's in front of your face and then i sprayed this one on top and that sweater i didn't wash that sweater because i was wearing it like whenever i felt kind of like cold so the day that we were leaving we left it was like four o'clock in the morning and i just grabbed the hoodie just to have something in the car to like put on top of me when i tell you the hoodie smelled so good with this combo so this one does not have the best lasting power but there's something about it that i really really love it's just like this crisp apple 
scent but then there's like this sweetness to it the vanilla definitely comes through in it and there's like this muskiness to it as well so these two paired together were so so good girly feminine this added like a juiciness to it this has like the orange blossom this one still has like a citrusy girly touch to it they just smelled so good together next up for my birthday i just threw on a combo that i didn't even think i was gonna wear for my birthday but it's kind of what i was in the mood for that day and it lasted me the entire time because if it's one thing that this fragrance is gonna do it's going to last like 10 plus hours and it's so affordable it's a dupe for baccarat rouge 540 and this is zara's red temptation so i actually put a dent on this one this month and I wore this for my birthday because, I, again, I was getting ready. And usually I just go for whatever I'm feeling that day. And this, I layered it with, of course, all of my In The Stars body care from Bath & Body Works. So I have the body cream right here, which I love the packaging for In The Stars right now. And this is very similar scent DNA to Red Temptation to Baccarat Rouge 540, which is like an airy, sweet, yet there is like this woodiness to it as well. It's just a very hard scent to describe, but In The Stars goes perfect with it. It does add a little bit of like a sweeter touch but very very similar and also the shimmer body oil this will also smell for hours and hours it's one of the best shimmery oils that bath and body works has ever done because it's not too chunky glittery i'm gonna put some on my skin so you guys can see it smells so so good and it doesn't give you chunky glitter it just makes your skin look really beautiful like this whole line right here from in the stars layered with red temptation you will smell good the entire day i know that there's some people who have told me that red temptation doesn't last on them which is crazy fragrances last different on everyone but for the most part i've heard good responses from this one and me personally fragrances do not last on me a long time and this is one of the only fragrances that has lasted me more than 10 hours like from the morning all the way until i take my clothes off at night and it still smells like i just put it on so very very good quality and in the stars is the perfect perfect match for this fragrance i'm gonna save the gourmand ones for last because they're so good but actually everything that's left is a little bit gourmand in some way but let's get this aromatic one out of the way so i did wear guest seductive noir a lot this month this is a perfect dupe for mon guerlain by guerlain but i feel like this one might be a little better blended i think and they didn't use lavender in here they used sage so i don't know if that makes any difference but i really really enjoy this scent but i love to pair it with victoria's secret lavender and vanilla it's kind of like an obvious layering combo because this will bring out that dna of lavender and vanilla that is in mongrelan even though this one doesn't have lavender but you're gonna kind of get the same effect and this is the perfect base for this type of scent i usually go for this one when i'm wearing either the guest seductive noir or my mon guerlain floral i love to use the victoria's secret lavender and vanilla which i don't know if they still sell this one but that's a really really good one to have in your body care collection i also wore this combo which i think i've shared this one in the past but i did wear my killian rolling in love i think think this combo i did it with scarlet poppy but rolling in love is similar to scarlet poppy by joe malone and i did make a little dent on this fragrance i wore this combo two to three times and i paired it with bath and body works fresh vanilla blossoms i feel like these go together so beautifully when i shared this combo i did share it with scarlet poppy and i did have a few of you try it out and you told me that you loved it so these go so perfectly together because this is a very unique vanilla this has suede petals soft sandalwood and vanilla bean but it just goes perfectly with rolling in love yeah they're like made for each other this is a very unique, there's like this sweet almondy, vanilla, powdery. There's ambrette in here, which is my favorite type of musk for fragrances because it just makes it like airy, soft, but not too musky. And it's 
like a very romantic scent. So paired with fresh vanilla blossoms is perfect. Sweet vanilla floral combo. Next up, I'm gonna start off with the more like gourmand, sweet. This one's more of like a fruity sweet. I definitely used a lot of my Ariana Grande's Ari perfume, which is a marshmallow, raspberry, sugary, vanilla balm. It's so good. This one is like super flirty, perfect for like Netflix and chill, perfect for being at home, perfect for running errands every day. I mean, even going out with this, it just smells so good. And I paired it with my Victoria's Secret Velvet Petals Candied. And they went together so, so good. This one's definitely super girly and sweet. There is caramel in this one, but paired together, it's just, they're perfect. They're perfect for each other. Very girly. If you like like those girly, sweet, pink smelling combos, fruity from that raspberry, this is the perfect combination. I love this one. Very juicy, very, very juicy and sweet and fruity. So that's such a good one. Moving now. on to more... I have two chocolate combinations. If you love chocolate, I paired these two together. This is Al Rehab Choco Musk, which I have a little dent going on. And I paired it with Victoria's Secret Frost Melt Fresh Mint and Chocolate. Oh, these two together are so, so good. This is kind of like smelling like a junior mint, but it's still very sweet and almost like marshmallow. This one kind of smells like Killian Princess, that marshmallowy, fluffy vibe, but with like chocolate. So these two together smell so good. If you have these, you definitely need to give this a try. So I wore this combo to bed like three or four times because I just looked forward to the way that it smells. It's very sweet, fluffy, comforting, gourmand, perfect for bedtime, perfect for a cold day. It just makes me think of like hot chocolate and marshmallows and it just smells so good together. Another chocolate combo that I paired together was my Juliana's Perfume Call Me By Your Name, which is I already have choco musk is like a simple chocolate powdery sweet scent call me by your name has a little bit more complexity to it it's still chocolate it's still gourmand but this one does have i believe is benzoin in here if i'm not mistaken but there's something that gives it like this almost like an ambery touch to it there's amber there's benzoin brown sugar it's a little bit more complex and i did pair this one with bath and body works hot cocoa and cream and these smell so good together as well this one smells I mean, there's no need to describe this. Hot chocolate. And then paired with this, it's just perfection. This actually has like a sexy touch to it. Even though it's gourmand and it's sweet, it's very, very sexy. Like you can definitely wear this combo to go out even though it's a chocolate combo. Like this one to me was more bedtime type of combo. But this combo right here is like sexy chocolate sweet gourmand combo, but it still smells super sexy. Like this is like smell like a snack, but smell like a model at the same time. This is like that type of combo. I love this fragrance. This is a dupe for gourmand cooking, which is a very expensive fragrance. I never got to try the original one, but I'm loving my Juliana's perfume dupe of it. This next combo, I had to repurchase a body butter for it because as soon as I got this fragrance, I was like, I need my pistachio body butter. So I got the pistach, pistachio oil body butter. I had this when Kayali's Yum Pistachio came out and it was kind of like a pistachio craze everywhere. And we were all getting this body butter from Amazon. And when we moved, mine went bad. So I needed to get this again because I layered it. I kind of snuck this because this was not on my perfume tray, but I just had to. My Daisy Love Marc Jacobs Pop. This is one of my latest additions to my fragrance collection and paired with this pistachio body butter to bring out the pistachio in this fragrance. So good. So I knew it was going to smell good. I have been wanting to get it again because this is literally a pistachio 
dream and I just ran out of I had my Laura Mercier almond coconut which almost gave like a pistachio vibe and I ran out of it so now I have the body butter that I can wear with my Daisy Love Pop, which I am in love with this fragrance. And that body butter is like the perfect first step to bring out that pistachio scent. Yes. Oh my God, you guys. This combo right here is, if you still have this body butter or if you've never tried it, it's from Amazon. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. But the way that this brings out the pistachio in here. They are a match made in heaven. And I also ordered the fragrance of this. I just haven't received it because it's running late, but I want to see if I can layer that with this fragrance to bring out that pistachio even more. But yeah, loving that combo right there. And then this last one, I do this all the time. This is kind of like a given layering combo when I wear my Kayali Vanilla 28. I usually love to reach for my Victoria's Secret Bare Vanillas. Doesn't really matter which one, but I really love this Lux one with it recently. This one has marshmallow and vanilla cashmere, so they go together so beautifully because this is like a vanilla extract, brown sugar type of smell. So bare vanilla lux to me is very close in scent dna to kayali vanilla 28 so i love to pair these two together so so good and that's more of like a vanilla vanilla extract brown sugar type of combo so those are the layering combos that i have been doing for the past month i hope that you guys enjoy them comment down below if there's any that you are going to be trying or that you have tried already or what was your favorite combo from the ones i showed thank you so so much for being here with me today give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video Ooh, la, la. Ooh, la, la.